<clears throat> Hi, I'm Maggie Woodley from Redhead Art, and welcome to this uh, today's um, flower craft hangout. So flowers, we all think they're very pretty, they're great for Mother's Day, they're great just to, for spring or to brighten things up or as a teacher's gift, lots of, lots of uses for flowers. Um, so I'm going to start off with some of the flowers that we've done. Um, here's a little flower mini bouquet, can you guess what they're made from? They are tissue papers and in the middle there's a little lollipop, so it's a little gift as well. Um, and these are really easy to make, uh, basically I used um, a lollipop and then I used uh, four circles, two slightly smaller ones, two slightly bigger ones, um, pushed them through, I'll show you. and then I just sort of crinkled up each one separately just to make sure there's kind of a bit of you know texture and shape to each one. Um, to secure it, gave it a little bit of tape at the bottom, and then I added um, a leaf. I mean, that's really, really easy, isn't it? Similarly, you can use these tissue, uh, the tissues in the same sort of way, uh, maybe a tiny bit smaller, and attach them to fairy lights. And again, you just put them on, shape them a little bit, um, add a bit of uh, tape, and you've got this really pretty um, different colored, I mean I did a whole set with all sort of rainbow colors, fairy lights, and, you know at the moment we're here in winter and this is just such a nice way to sort of brighten up sort of a gloomy winter's day with lots of pretty bright colors. Um, so we love the fairy lights as well, so easy to make. Um, next one along is one that I thought would be a nice little sewing project for maybe an eight or nine or ten year old. Um, basically little felt hair clips so with a little button and really again very simple just two little shapes a button sew it together and then sew it onto your hair clip and then you've got the job done here we go now i just need to get a picture of pip squeak wearing it she does like them but she won't let me photograph her wearing them um and you know you can just you know experiment with different colors and different shapes and you know you can just have circles look really good too or you know whatever takes your fancy and then i've got one more before i hand over to my esteemed colleagues um, it's this little uh, fabric flower. I first saw this little fabric flower in a coffee shop near us, and they'd had they had these on the tables like three or four in a little vase instead of real flowers. And I thought it looked really, really nice, and it was a nice way to sort of brighten up the coffee shop without sort of cutting flowers all the time. I have to say, I sometimes feel a bit sorry for cut flowers, and I think it's such a shame. Um, and you know, they just had them on a little stick at the back in the vase, and I thought they looked lovely. And again, they're really simple to make. You need five of these circles. I used um, my sellotape to cut a shape. You fold it in half, you fold it in half again, as nearly as possible. And then you just do a running stitch along the bottom. So you end up, it kind of, when you pull it, it very neatly goes into a petal shape. And then when you've got that, you secure it a little bit, and then you start on the next shape. And then once you've got that, you start on the next shape until you've got all five, like this. And then at the back, I just did a little bit of felt, kind of just to make it a bit prettier. And on the front, you put a button. And of course, if you want, um, you know, a pipe cleaner, or if you want a brooch, or you want to put it on a handbag, you just add all the different extra bits so that you can use it in different ways. But I thought this was really lovely, and it's really nice to do keepsake because you can use old fabrics. I mean, I know something about each of these fabrics. Two of them are my husband's shirts. One of them is my neighbor's dress. So, you know, I've got kind of a relationship with this little flower. Anyway, I'm going to pass over to uh, Liz today, and she's going to share her crafts. Liz? Thanks, Maggie. Thank um, so, first of all, we've got a kind of classic kids' craft. This is our um, egg box daffodil, egg carton daffodil. And we made these about, I don't know, but we're a bit dusty, about three years ago. <laughs> and they've been hanging around. We made loads of them. We had a big vase of them. They're really simple to do. So you just cut out the, um, obviously, the egg holder part of the egg box, um, cardboard petal shapes. We had yellow egg boxes, so that was nice and easy, but you can obviously paint them. And then inside, I've just sprinkled a few. Um, we glued in some lentils into the bottom to make the kind of, um, what do you call it, daemon? Is that what it's called? Something like that. And then it's just taped on the back of a garden pea stick. So those are really, really easy to do, and they've been knocking around our house for ages. Um, the next one is something that I guess posted over on Maggie's blog actually, and it's really, it's quite similar to your tissue paper one, the principle, and that's these little fabric um, flowers here. Um, so same principle, you you use fabric obviously instead of tissue paper, but you need um, four or five graduated circles, um, and you just cut little snips into them. You have to use um, synthetic fabric for this because what you do with them then before you before you uh, layer them up, 
is you just hold them over a little candle and then they start to kind of singe at the edges and curl up and then you get that really pretty um, petally shape. So this one's a magnet. I've got a few of these on my on my magnet board, but again you can do hair clips or attach them to bags or clothes or whatever. And then the last one, again, it's a bit like Maggie's um, fabric flower, but even easier. And these are um, your classic yo-yo things. So similar principle, but you just start with a circle of fabric, um, fold over your edge, and then put a running stitch and pull it together so it looks like a little sort of shower cap. <laughs> um, now you can leave them sort of empty in the middle. And I've seen these where you make hundreds and hundreds and stitch them into a quilt, which is quite a feat. Um, but these, I just tend to put buttons on and I've attached them to my daughter's dress or you can make brooches or hair slides. Um, and I think you might see Anthea sporting one today. I'm going to hand over to Anthea. Thanks, Liz. Actually, my ones, are, they're, they're similar looking and I, I put them on here. These are an old pair of tights. So I make lots of... Um, kind of, what do you call them, fingerless gloves, um, and I've attached it only onto one side though, so the other side's actually plain, I haven't got it on because it's not that cold today, but because it looks a bit like a ring, I like to make wear quite big jewellery, so um, two massive big flowers wouldn't look so cool, but one adds a little bit of class to your... So and these though are slightly different actually to the way Liz makes, I use a strip of fabric and fold it over, running stitch along the bottom and then put it together and it it becomes the circle and similar thing you put the badge on so you know my older daughter loves these these kind of more funky cool colors my younger twins are still into the, the kind of and this is an old dress just an old summer dress where it ripped and they like the material so we kept it so this has got to be a hair bobble later the other thing oh big into felting if you're following my blog you'll know this i'm putting lots of felting projects up but it's so amazing and tactile and wonderful so little little tiny gorgeous needle felted flowers, um, cookie, get a cookie cutter, flower shape, prod it in, make it all kind of stiff, then you take it out and you needle felt a little bobble in the top. Why these are so good is they're just, they're wonderful for adorning everything, I mean you can stick them on cards, you can stick them on clothes, I mean this would look fantastic. Here you can make necklaces out of them, you can put them all together as Maggie we were talking about earlier, make a bracelet. Um, even earrings, I mean just everything. The one thing I would say though is because they're felt, don't actually attach them directly to your fabric. Y use a, a, a brooch pin or something so that you can kind of take them off. Some people use, they'll cut out, um, if you're making a necklace, they'll cut out a piece of material, stick them onto the material and sew them onto the material and then then you can kind of use that to pin on. You know, you can make a wonderful, um, what you call it, collars aren't they, are very trendy at the moment. So you can make a wonderful flower collar. Um, but yeah, they don't wash well, they just kind of bunch up. Um, and I'll just tell, I've shown this before, but this is a felt ring that I've had quite a while. And when I first had it, it was amazing. And where I've worn it, it's just kind of got a bit tatty and fluffy and bally. So they, they're, they're often kind of felt decorations are a bit throwaway. And, and the other thing I do is I use felt um, felt flowers for making gift tags. And they just sound fantastic for Mother's Day and um, kind of girly gift tags, really. And this is just a kind of a, a bit of felt that you curl... Oh, I haven't got one to show you. But you kind of cut a spiral shape up and then you kind of twist it, starting in the middle, and you twist it and glue the edge. Just cut out. Great for scraps. And you can do it with paper, these. You probably see them on Pinterest. You can do it with paper. You can do it with any type of material. And it just adds, it makes a kind of a little bit more of an individual gift tag, I think, if you do things like this. But you can use felt flowers for so many things. And uh, oh, that's me done, isn't it? I'm going to pass on to Maggie. <laughs> We're over to Kelly, sorry, we've confused everyone with our order. Kelly, it's your turn now, please. <laughs> You're still unmuted, I think. You need to unmute yourself. Is the voice not coming? Do you want to show up? Do you want to uh, show us your craft? And then we'll um, we'll just have to add the links at the end. Do you want to quickly show us a quick, quick, quick? So we've got the tulip flower with folded paper, which looks really lovely. Next we have, oh, this is your um, kitchen roll flower, isn't it? So this is a flower made from kitchen roll, which I think is amazing. I've been trying to make one out of toilet paper, and it was really hard. So look forward to seeing that tutorial. <laughs> and that is at Hammer Beads. Hammer Beads on the, yeah, lovely flower, very pretty, like that. 
This is like a pretty good guessing game today, isn't it? Are we done? <laughs> Lovely. Oh dear, technology. Um, we could hear Curly earlier on. No idea why we can't hear her now. These things happen. We have my little cat visiting us today. Hello. Um, anyway, so I hope um, you have some flower crafts that are inspired. I quite like that we use quite different things. There's tissue paper, there's felt, there's fabric, um, egg cartons, uh, hammer beads. So, you know, quite, quite a varied sort of set of materials. And hopefully something for all age groups. I think the little sewn flowers using the, the fabric is a really great starter project because there's running stitch is really easy for children to do. Um, so definitely worth having a look at. And uh, yes, hopefully you've been inspired by our little flower craft and we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.